Hi, welcome to GFS Chemistry Channel. Today we are going uh, with our electronic configuration. Electronic configuration, we know it is a symbol, okay, that we know how to write everything you know well. Here I am going to explain how to detect by getting a, a number of electrons, by getting the atomic number, how can we check group, period, block, valency, ionization, and alpha, etc. Okay, very important for your entrance and regular. Don't forget, just follow me. Listen here. What is the meaning of electronic configuration? Electronic configuration means it is a proper arrangement of electrons around the nucleus. Around the nucleus, how can we arrange the number of electrons properly, thoroughly? That is called as uh, simply electronic configuration. How to write that, that we know by using this method. Okay, just example. How can we take the block group valency and uh, all other things from a uh, atomic number? Okay, listen here. If I have one atom, I don't know what atom that. Here in your question paper, you may get this only. Number of electrons only given there. The number of electrons may be 56. 56 there. How to arrange that? And also how to check all other things. Here listen here. We know 1 s 2 s all things are there. Here first I write 1 s 2 then 2 s 2. You know well gone along with this line 1 s 2 then uh, the, uh, here nothing are there only 1 s only here that is completed. Then next 2s, 2 completed. You know well, s maximum capacity what? s maximum capacity equal to 2, p maximum capacity equal to 6, d maximum capacity equal to 10, f maximum capacity equal to 14. This all things you know well. Here 2s2, then after that 2p6, then 3s2, 2p, then 3s, then 3p6, 3s over. Then now 3p after that not 3d we are gone along with this line 3p then uh, 3p6 then 4s2 over the next 3d10 just to keep in your mind if i reach in 3d then sure the 30 electrons were covered just to try to count 4 10 12 18 20 plus 10 30 30 over now here where we reach 3d then 3d then 4p for p6 for p6 then 5s2 okay 5s2 for p6 5s2 after that 4d10 4d10 next 5p6 next 6s2 gone like that okay just to count till here 30 36 38 48 okay that means if i reach 3d10 that means 30 4d8 that is uh, 48 then next uh, 48 then here 50 for 56 over number of electrons thoroughly we arrange then how can we check the group first we want to count which group okay then which block first try to count that uh, which group this one first of all you want to decide what is the last shell which is the principal content number biggest principal content number that biggest principal quantum number count that here i given one two three gone like that here here one two 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 this all are the principal quantum numbers what is the biggest principal quantum number look here six is the biggest quantum number how much electrons are there two electrons are there that number given the idea about group but their writing time if it is in s write only that number if it is in S, write only that number. Therefore, I return that 2 only here. Maybe this last may be P. On that time, you can add plus 12. Plus 12 means maybe I have 3 P3 3 is the last shell. Just yes, you can assume. 3 P3. 3. Then 12 plus 3. Here 3. 12 plus 3. That is equal to 15 is the group number. Don't forget. If it is in D, on that time, add plus 2. Clear all of you? Why we add like this? In our periodic table, first two group are S block from 3 to 12 D block. After 12 only P block will start. Therefore, why? If it is in P plus 12 add. If it is in D plus 
how much we want to add plus 2 we want to add just listen here here group 2 this one from uh, group 2 means last I count biggest principal quantum number there biggest principal quantum number is 6 there s is the last shell therefore why s have how much electron that only the group number here now the group equal to 2 then next we want to count which block what block are there block means how can we detect that where the last electrons are filled where the last electrons are filled look here here the last electron filled in s therefore it is an s block okay now by using the principal quantum number we are able to detect group and block then now uh, we have a group block then uh, next what period which period period can be decided by biggest principal quantum number again what is the biggest principal quantum number here six for which period? Sixth period element. Okay. Group block period. Now counting valency. Very important. Valency means the number of electron required to attain octa. Otherwise, number of electron removed to get at octa. Okay. We required octa. Eight electron we required. There we may add it. Otherwise, we may remove it. Okay. If the outermost shell have four, then we want to add electron. Less than 4, we want to remove the electron. One condition, valency does not be more than 4. Valency of every element maximum equal to 4 only. Don't forget that. Here the valency. Counting time, biggest principal corner number 6. How much electrons are there? 2 are there. Okay, that 2 is the valency also. Meaning, this 2 below 4. Here, just make a line like this 0 4 8 octa means 8